Good evening, everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Oh, I had a lot of work to do today. I really did. <laughs> but I'm finally figuring out some important things I need to do. I've gotten like a big breakthrough in a programming assignment I've been doing. I feel good. I can invest a few hours into Morrowind, and I am looking forward to it. We're in the middle of the Blood Moon expansion. Um, we have to restore the oneness of the land because the Skull don't know where this Imperial dude who got kidnapped is. That's basically it. That's the whole synopsis. Let's just jump into it. I don't have much time for fancy schmancy introductions. I do still have to, uh, do this though. Shadows, view distance, subtitles, obviously you're supposed to tank. Yep, okay, okay, okay. There we go. So we're going to just read the journal, give a quick perform the ritual of the gift. I hope your way has been easy. I hope so too. Yeah, so we're doing the ritual of the gifts. Um atone for the mistakes of the Imperials. What does what does it say need? What why is need a topic? Okay. The six standing stones on the island represent the gifts of the Allmaker. I will need to visit each of these stones and perform a ritual. I've also been given a book that gives the history of the Skull's beliefs. I should investigate these stones if I'm to restore the power of the Skull. So, let's see if we can find this book. Uh, does it start with Skull? It does not. So I'm gonna have to, uh, parchment with scrawlings. That's obviously not it. Yep, oh, it's that one. Gotta love it. Tagranax tools, that's a good one. A leaflet, brown book, Dagothers plans. Oh, come on. This is the worst. Sit this, trying to find like specific books. The story of Avar Stonesinger, is this it? Okay, this is the Skulls thing. Sit quietly, child, and listen, for the story I tell you is the story of the ages. But what is it, Grandfather? Is it the story of heroes and beasts? The Grandfather looked patiently at the child. He was growing into a fine boy. Soon he would see the valley in these stories, the lessons that were taught to each generation. Just listen, child. Let the story take root in your heart. In a time before now, long before now, when the Skull were new, there was peace in the land. The sun was hot and the crops grew long, and the people were happy in the peace that the Allmaker provided. But the Skull grew complacent and lazy, and they took for granted the lands and all the gifts the Allmaker had given them. They forgot, or chose not to remember, that the adversary is always watching, and that he delights in tormenting the Allmaker and his chosen people. And so it was that the adversary came to be among the Skull. The adversary has many aspects. He appears in the unholy beasts and the incurable plague. At the end of seasons, we know him as Thartag, the world devourer. But in these ages, he came to be known as the Greedy Man. The Greedy Man, which is what we call him, for to speak his name would certainly bring ruin unto the people, lived among the Skull for many months. Perhaps he was once just a man, but when the adversary entered into him, he became the Greedy Man, and that is how he was remembered. It came to be one day that the powers of the Skull left them. The strength left the arms of the warriors, and the shaman could no longer summon the beasts to their side. The elders thought that surely the Allmaker was displeased, and some suggested the Allmaker had left them forever. It was then that the greedy man appeared to them and spoke. You of the Skull have grown fat and lazy. I have stolen the gifts of your Allmaker. I have stolen the oceans, so you will forever know thirst. I have stolen the lands and the trees and the sun, so your crops will wither and die. I have stolen the beasts, so you will go hungry. And I have stolen the winds, so you will live without the spirit of the Allmaker. And until one of you can reclaim these gifts, the Skull will live in misery and despair. For I am the greedy man, and that is my nature. And the greedy man disappeared. The members of the Skull spoke for many days and nights. They knew that one of them must retrieve the gifts of the Allmaker, but they could not decide who it should be. I cannot go, said the Elder. From a stay to lead the Skull and tell our people what is law. I cannot go, said the Warrior, for I must protect the Skull. My sword will be needed in case the greedy man reappears. 
I cannot go, said the shaman, for the people need my wisdom. I must read the portents and offer my knowledge. It was then that a young man called Avar lifted his voice. He was strong of arm and fleet of foot, though he was not yet a warrior of the skull. I will go, said Avar, and the skull laughed. Hear me out, the boy continued. I am not yet a warrior, so my sword will not be needed. I cannot read the portents, so the people will not seek my counsel. And I am young and not yet wise in the ways of the law. I will retrieve the gifts of the Allmaker from the greedy man. If I cannot, I will not be missed. The skull thought on this briefly and decided to let Avar go. He left the village the next morning to retrieve the gifts. Avar first set out to retrieve the gift of water, so he traveled to the Waterstone. It was there where the Allmaker first spoke to him. Travel west to the sea and follow the swimmer to the waters of life. So Avar walked to the edge of the ocean and there was the swimmer, a black porker sent from the Allmaker. The swimmer dove into the waters and swam very far and far again. Avar was strong though and he swam hard. He followed the swimmer to a cave, swimming deeper and deeper, his lungs burning and his limbs exhausted. At last he found a pocket of air and there in the dark he found the waters of life. Gathering his strength, he took the waters and swam back to the shore. Upon returning to the Waterstone, the Allmaker spoke. You have returned the gift of water to the Skull. The oceans again will bear fruit and their thirst will be quenched. Avar then traveled to the Earthstone, and there the Allmaker spoke to him again. Enter the cave of the hidden music and hear the song of the Earth. So Avar traveled north and east to the cave of hidden music. He found himself in a large cavern where the rocks hung from the ceiling and grew from the ground itself. He listened there and heard the song of the earth, but it was faint. Grabbing up, up his mace, he struck the locks, rocks of the floor in time with the song, and the song grew louder, until it filled the cavern in his heart. Then he returned to the earth stone. The gift of the earth is with the skull again, said the Allmaker. The lands are rich again and will bear life. Avar was tired as the sun burned him, the trees offered no shade, and there was no wind to cool him. Still, he traveled on to the Beast Rock, and the Allmaker spoke. Find the good beast and ease his suffering. Avar traveled through the woods of the Insenfir for many hours until he heard the cries of a bear from over a hill. As he crested a hill, he saw the bear, a falmer's arrow piercing its nest, neck. He checked the woods for the falmer, for that is what they were, though some say they are not, and finding none, approached the beast. He spoke soothing words and came upon it slowly, saying, Good beast, I mean you no harm. The Allmaker has sent me to ease your suffering. Hearing these words, the bear ceased his struggles and laid his head at Avar's feet. Avar grasped the arrow and pulled it from the bear's neck. Using the little nature magic he knew, Avar tended the wound, though it took the last bit of his strength. As the bear's wound closed, Avar slept. When he awoke, the bear stood over him and the remains of a number of Falmer were strewn about. He knew that the good beast had protected him during the night. He traveled back to Beast Rock, the bear by his side, and the Allmaker spoke to him again. You have returned the gift of the beasts. Once again, the good beasts will feed the skull when they are hungry, clothe them when they are cold, and protect them in times of need. Avar's strength had returned, so he traveled on to the tree stone, though the good beasts did not follow him. When he arrived, the Allfather spoke to him. The first trees are gone and must be replanted. Find the seed and plant the first tree. Avar traveled again through the Hirstong forest, searching for the seeds of the first tree, but he could find none. Then he spoke to the tree spirits, the living trees. They told him that the seeds have been stolen by one of the Falmer, for they are servants of the adversary. And this Falmer was hiding them deep in the forest so that none would ever find them. Avar traveled to the deepest part of the forest, and there he found the evil Falmer, surrounded by the lesser tree spirits. Avar could see that the spirits were in his thrall, that he used the magic of the seeds and spoke in their true name. Avar knew he could not stand against such a force, and that he must retrieve the seeds in secret. Avar reached into his pouch and drew out his flint. Gathering leaves, he started a small fire outside the clearing where the Falmer and the ensorcelled spirits milled. All the Skull know the spirits' hatred of fires, for the fires ravage the trees they serve. At once, the nature of the spirits took hold and they rushed to quell the flames. During the commotion, Avar snuck behind the Falmer and snatched the pouch of seeds, stealing away before the evil being knew they were gone. When Avar returned to the tree stone, he planted the tree in the ground and the Allmaker spoke to him. The gift of trees is restored. Once again, the trees and plants will bloom and grow and provide nourishment and shade. Avar was tired, for the sun would only burn and the winds would not yet cool him, but he rested briefly in the shade of the trees. His legs were weary and his eyes heavy, but he continued on, traveling to the sunstone. Again, the Allmaker spoke. The gentle warmth of the sun is stolen, so now it only burns. Free the sun from the halls of Penumbra. And so Avar walked west over the frozen lands until he reached the halls of Penumbra. The air inside was thick and heavy, and he could see no further than the end of his arm. Still, he felt his way along the walls, though he heard the shuffling of feet and knew that this place held the unholy beasts who would tear his flesh and eat his bones. For hours, he crept along until he saw a faint glow at the end of the hall. 
There, from behind a sheet of perfect ice, came a glow so bright he had to shut his eyes, lest they be forever blinded. He plucked the flaming eye from one of the unholy beasts and threw it at the ice with all his might. A small crack appeared in the ice, then grew larger. Slowly, the light crept out between the cra cracks, widening them, splitting the ice wall into pieces. With a deafening crack, the wall crumbled, and the light rushed over Avar and through the halls. He heard the shrieks of the unholy beasts as they were blinded and burned. He ran out of the halls, following the light, and collapsed on the ground outside. When he was able to rise again, the sun again warmed him, and he was glad for that. He traveled back to the Sunstone, where the Allmaker spoke to him. The gift of the sun is the skulls once again. It will warm them and give them life. Avar had one final gift to recover, the gift of the winds, so he traveled to the Windstone, far on the western coast of the island. When he arrived, the Allmaker spoke to him, giving him his final task. Find the greedy man, and release the wind from its captivity. So Avar wandered the land in search of the greedy man. He looked in the trees, but the greedy man did not hide there. Nor did he hide near the oceans or the deep caves, and the beasts had not seen him in the dark forests. Finally, Avar came to a crooked house, and he knew that here he would find the greedy man. Who are you, shouted the greedy man, that you would come to my house? I am Avar of the Skull, said Avar. I am not warrior, shaman, or elder. If I do not return, I will not be missed. But I have returned to the oceans and to the earth, the trees, the beasts, and to the sun. And I will return the winds to my people, that we may feel the spirit of the Allmaker in our souls again. And with that, he grabbed up the greedy man's bag and tore it open. The winds rushed out to the gale force, sweeping the greedy man up and carrying him off far from the island. Avar breathed in the winds and was glad. He walked back to the windstone where the Allmaker spoke to him a final time. You have done well, Avar. You, the least of the Skull, have returned my gifts to them. The greedy man is gone for now and should not trouble your people again in your lifetime. Your Allmaker is pleased. Go now and live your life according to your nature. And Avar started back to the Skull village. And then what happened, Grandfather? What do you mean, child? He went home. No, when he returned to the village, the child continued. Was he made a warrior or talked the ways of the shaman? Did he lead the Skull in battle? I do not know. That is where the story ends, said the grandfather. But that's not an ending. That's not how stories end. The old man laughed and got up from his chair. Is it not? I see. <laughs> the stones themselves are not on my map or anything. But I can I ask about the specific ones? No, I'm not able to. So now that was a lot. That was like 10 minutes of reading. Holy shit. <laughs> that was a long read, but now I should understand enough. I need to find all of these stones and perform effectively the rituals, so I'm going to look for the water stone. And the water stone is... I don't know. I don't know where the water stone is. Well, let's see if I'm actually able to, you were to perform the ask one more time about the stones. The Restore the power of the skull. You are to perform the ritual of the gifts. I believe you can be of value to our people. I'm looking for the stones. This ah, he's not able to help me at all. What a disappointment. What would you ask of this skull? Um, latest rumors. Lake Fjalding. You know what? Lake. F they, they said Horkers here at Lake Fjalding. So let's actually go back to there and maybe the Waterstone will be nearby. Because the story itself mentioned a Horker, did it not? Uh, the edge of the ocean, a black horker, yes! Okay, so I think Lake Fjalding is where we're going to want to start then. I could be wrong. <laughs> Look at him go. Enemies are nearby, we've got some reeklings. Right, this guy's actually like the riders are actually pretty powerful. What's up with the audio? It is really low today. I'll probably go with this. Ooh. 
This actually could get really threatening. I love the instant turnaround. <laughs> Blue glass pot. Yeah, they have nothing good. Oh, I'm not going to Lake Hyalding at all. I'm completely in the wrong direction. And more raiders. Stop that. Oh, the knockdown. I should be fine. They're not doing as much damage as I thought they did. Okay, that was actually quite a bit of damage. <sighs> Beautiful, I can see again. Wraith Guard is giving me a shield. What? Don't think that's the pose I'm supposed to be in. <laughs> My character looks so silly. I'm just grabbing a screenshot for... I, I, I'm i going to need a thumbnail later. Like, eventually a thumbnail is just going to have to be made. And I want to put Gelum Vex on it. So I figure, why not do it now? Are Horkers hostile? Okay, yes they are. I would prefer that they're not, but they are going to fight me. So is the Waterstone adjacent to this frozen lake? Because this, this place is actually kind of cool. Wait, can I knock it out from here? What's going on? I guess I was just stuck. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, I actually do have to go to the edge of this. You fall in the frozen lake, you're stuck in the frozen lake. Tough luck. Okay, I should be able to get out, like, around here. Yeah, there we go. So what part of Lake Fjalding have I ended up at? I do think this is the right place to look for the water stone. Given the proximity to the skull, given that... It's Horker territory, given everything I know about this. And maybe I'll be able to... Caves of Fjalding. I missed that. Doesn't seem, like, incredibly important, though. What is this? I've never been here. This is just... At, like, a house or a hall up here? Or something? This is definitely a... S oh, it's Thirsk! I need help. Wolfram. I welcome you to the Mead Hall of Thirsk. So long as you behave yourself, we'll get along fine. If you want to buy some mead, just ask. If you haven't already, I suggest you introduce yourself to Skjolder Wolfrunner. He's the chieftain of the Mead Hall and will want to greet a new arrival. I'm looking for a specific place. Thormor's Watch. Um, price eggs. Talk to Eric. That's all I'll say. Keep your distance, friend, if you want to keep your head. What do you want, Twig? Hi, I'm a Twig. Wasn't that sad? Boo hoo! I don't know nothing. Ah, uh, a group of Nords who left the Skull Village hundreds of years ago. We may not agree with their beliefs, but we respect them as fellow Nords. Okay, so these are not Skull, actually. Can't say I know who that is. Sorry, never heard of him. Why would he be like... Yeah, alright, whatever. Skull of Grist the Yellow. He's a swine, a man. It's too bad he's my clan mother. Oh my god. Enjoy our mead. Hail, good Gilimbex. Skjolder Wolfrunner is my name. I am the chieftain of Thirsk and welcome you to our home. You will not find a better mead hall anywhere, not even in Skyrim. For 100 years, Thirsk has withstood all manner of attack from the snow and hail to those infernal reeklings. For the mead hall. Alright, it's here, my friend. Taste the nectar of shore. Thank you. Windai has given me a scroll that shows the locations of each of the standing stones. Wait, he did? 
No. Wait, did he? This it? Also, why was my journal updated about what updated my journal? Okay, so actually, there's a scroll somewhere in here, and I just had to find it. Because that's the story. Note from the Arch Cannon, papers, and Snobby's notes. The stranger, no. Lost prophecy, common tongue, Sithis, special flora, spirit of the Daedra, tax record, scroll, 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 scroll. Red book, public notice, Dwemer book, page, parchment, plan to defeat Dagoth Ur, notes from Hulia, note to Amaya, Karak, mission to actually like, who are you? Oh, it's that one. That's a cool one. Oh, locations of the stones. Here we go. Wow, I was way, way the hell off. Okay, so it won't let me move this again. So the wind stone is going to be like... Here. The windstone is the nearest. Okay. Well, I wasn't right. Morrowind dies in Endgame. No! Wait, I actually, I've actually seen Endgame now. I'm immune to spoilers now. That's poggers. Wait, is this upside down? Wait, this doesn't match map of souls time unless <gasps> no way no wait okay so it's not a perfect map this is right i actually have literally like two three days ago when was it saturday so yeah two days ago i finally saw the movie okay so i'm gonna have to seek the windstone like here so I'm going to go northwest. Thousand gold. Want to know a secret? I have a little trap locked upstairs in my room. That's right. She came here preaching about how meat is evil. Maybe furious it did, so I took her. I smack her around every now and then, throw meat on her, that sort of thing. Ha 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 ha. That's, uh, that's kind of messed up. Welcome to the risk. Talk to Eric about the unworthy. That's all I'll say. Should probably do something about this. Lock level 50. Ah, oh, alright. Quick save it. Good old FBI open up. Please, stranger, help. I'm being held prisoner by that disgusting Nord, Eric. I came to the Mead Hall to preach the way of the Nine Divines, and this is the way I was paid. Came to Thirsk to practice, preach the world of the word of the gods and dissuade the barbarians from their love of drink. That foul Eric poured mead on me, then then he struck me. I awoke in his chambers. That was over three weeks ago, by my reckoning. Every day he comes in to taunt me and beat me. The only food and drink I've been given is rotten meat and mead. Please, stranger, you must release me so we can travel together. Guess what, guys? It becomes an escort quest. I took care of it. Didn't I? Uh, some people look <laughs> She's right behind me. 
Alright, she's close enough to right behind me. So now we gotta go back to Fort Frostmoth. I don't want to. Move faster. What is to be? Oh. You are literally punching her. T bear boots, bear helmet, iron spear. Yeah, all worse than my stuff. Well, I'm glad I randomly found Marisa, but I'm not glad that uh, this has become every other side quest in Morrowind. Every time I want to give a side quest a shot, like I'm burned. But this will take me close to the Sunstone, so I may as well. We'll explore some more of the worlds, that sort of thing. It's not all bad. Here it comes. Are you going to fight me? Yep. Uh, Marisa, don't punch bears, please. It's a, it's a bad idea. Bear, ooh, what's this? Solstheim's pretty dense on things to see. And corpses to come across. Song of Uncle Sweet Share. It's, uh... Oh no, what do you mean? To spread his candy and his cheer? It's almost like an. <laughs> yep, alright. Moon sugar. Alright, so this Argonian overdosed, I see. Wait, this is Uncle Sweet Share's workshop. A candy trees to spare. They're tasty and filled with special sugar and love. They bring happiness. I give up my special sugary treats and spread reward throughout the land. It's difficult work, but oh so rewarding. Nashi certainly thought so. Ah, Nashi, the dear lad. Nashi's my assistant. He helps me to make my candy. He so loves his sugar. Nashi did. Loved it a little too much, I'm afraid. He died, you see. His uh, sweet tooth got the better of him. I buried him just outside. We had a lovely little ceremony. The horkers came and sang for him. They did. Ah, ha, 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 ha. This is a skooma den. <laughs> that was literally a skooma den. What's up, bear? Wow, bears must have low agility, because they're getting knocked down really easily. Uh-oh. Speaking of low agility, I need to do a lot more agility in my future builds when I play more Elder Scrolls games with stats. What is this? Scods Drake Barrow. Okay, so I found that. We're almost at Frostmoth. Solstheim really is a lovely place. Hey, wait for me. Let's go already. Here's Snowing Forest. So this is where like Beast Stone roughly was. I know the Sunstone. Oh, the Sunstone's actually like right here. Or something like that. You're close. I don't care that you have to run. That might actually be the sunstone. I don't know. Oh, okay, no, there's actually just a lot of upright rocks. Keep up. My mouse is my mouse cable's caught on something. We can conveniently just walk through the wall now. Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah, this place is destroyed, by the way. Have fun taking that in and accepting that. Imperial Cult Shrine. How can I show my appreciation? Ah, yes. 
Thank you. Talk to Jeline. What was that? Of course. By the nine divines you rescued by Marisa. Please take this gold. I know it's not much, but it's all we have in our coffers. I wish I could give more. 300 gold. Lovely. Figuring out what happened to her is more engaging than the actual quest. All right, anyway, where's the locations? I just put it on the fucking ground. God damn it. All right, the sunstone is, yeah, off in this corner. So to this corner, we shall go. I guess I'm doing the sunstone first. It doesn't really matter what order we do them in, I don't think. Wait, what did this guy do? He went... Waterstone? Then... Er oh, he went water, earth, tree... S Wait, no, he went water, earth, beast, tree, sun, wind. Why would he take that path? Why would he go to the furthest stone first? What is this that I've discovered? Frostlemane Barrow. Neat. All the caves seem to have very similar entrances. And I'm sure I'll recognize the sunstone when I find it, but it's not gonna have any like structures in it like it did in Skyrim or structures around it. Yeah, I'm getting close. On. There we go. Uh, is this it? No. There's a boat here, though. Little rowboat. I like finding things like that. It's very interesting. It's like, who, who rode here? Whose boat is this? That's not the sunstone. I'm just actually looking at every rock I can find seeing if they're interactable and again I'm sure it will stand out Spriggan's attack on sight apparently they're weak to fire wait I wonder what happens if I well so far nothing and now I'm hand to hand Okay, she still gets back up. Where's my weapon? Where did, where did it go? I guess it's gone, so I just, just kind of bugged out a little bit. So no, you have to kill them three times regardless of how you kill them. Good to know, good to know. Um, Locations of the stones. The sunstone should be here. Is that a river? I want to say that's a river, but I don't know what river that could be. It could be more this way, like straight to the west, because I did cross a body of water, I think. Yeah, so theoretically, it should be very near here. Oh, look at the... The Blood Moon, I guess. <laughs> it is the Blood Moon expansion. Okay, but if the river ends right there. But the river never explicitly... Okay, this must be where the river ends. So this must be elevation then. These must be like mountain lines or hill lines or something along those lines. A lot of wolves. Keep jumping. The whole zero magicka thing is kind of putting me on edge a bit. Hmm. I know... I know I'm not far. There's just too many rocks. 
This is a hill. But I've already been here. Oh, wait a minute. Himmelhost Barrow. Randomly discovered a cave, I guess. And if there's more over here, then it's worth knowing. How far out can I swim, actually? I don't know if I want to find out, because then I have to come back. Okay, you know what? I have idiot tax. Hmm. That... Ah, shit, because there's... I'm not swimming back. Nope. See ya. Don't care to do that. You know what? It's possible that I literally just haven't walked far enough up. So I'm going to follow the river until I find it. Because the river opens up onto the land here. Right here. And so that... Wait. Where's my robe? Why am I not wearing anything? What? Why did my robe come off? What? Is my armor off too? Like... No, that's still on. What the fuck? What kind of crazy ass bug would remove my robe? Anyway, let's get back to business because what I'm actually looking for is this again. The sunstone's like, yeah, it's like right at the edge here, right? Right around here. So really, I should theoretically just have to move a little further north and I'll find it. Just a, just a teensy bit further. Still aggroed. And here comes the bear that's aggroed. Oh, right! Three lives. Uh, damn this low fatigue. Might actually drink a potion if it becomes enough of a problem. Yeah, what's this? Frost damage. <gasps> what? The bear just passively does fucking damage? No, 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 no. We need to deal with this. The bear has frost shield. Oh god, another one. The bear actually has frost shield, huh? I think I'm starting to escape. But where's the sunstone? Oh wait, I haven't actually been to like all of this land over here. Just kidding, that is very clearly water adjacent. Fight. Are you a price hag or a barbarian? Yeah, it's a price hag. I don't know why she's going straight for the shock damage dagger, but like she has ranged spells, but I guess she has forgotten to use them. Now I'm in the Instant Fear Plains. I do not want to be in the Instant Fear Plains. Wait, this guy died in one hit? And now it's a snowstorm. And now I'm fighting something. Show thine self! Instant Fear Plains is definitely too far. Her stung forest is also probably too far. I have to fight the bear. Snow bear palace looks really heavy. Okay, um, I mean Himmelhaus Barrow, maybe? I wonder if it's wait, what's this? Night I just Oh, Ring of Azura. 
I wonder if I actually have to go into Himmelhost. You're growing weak. <clears throat> Characters in combat, so I don't really care. Wait, you're still alive? Okay. Let's check Himmelhost and see if the Sunstone is in here. Because, like, what's the, what's the part of the story about the Sunstone? That's our new switch here. There we go. Because the, uh... Sunstone is here. We continued on to the Sunstone. Free the sun from the halls of Penumbra. Okay, well, I'm just... Oh, immediate skeleton. I doubt the sunstone would be indoors, but I can't rule anything out yet. Skeleton pirates. This place honestly looks pretty small. I don't even know where this guy came from. He's dead now. This looks like a door. Oh yeah, it's a passageway. Ooh, yikes. This could actually be a problem. These skeletons aren't that scary though. And I've got space to move. Skeleton pirate captain. Pirate captain's up. Near the mighty sun's great stone, an arch marks withered flesh and bone. And at the base, you'll know sweet luck. If dig, you will straight through the muck. That's actually really useful. Near the mighty sun's great stone. Pirate captain's key. Don't mind if I do. It looks like that's all there is here. We'll go FBI this. And, ooh. Flame Eater Robe. Resist fire and spell absorption, but it's cast when used. So it's not better than mine. Ugh. Okay, well, I'll take the potions for sure. Restore health. I think that's all I'm taking. A Dwarven Crossbow is kind of cool. Might be something good here. Wild Spark Blade. Yeah, see, again, nothing I really need. Like, I'm not looking for more stuff. Devil Spear, though. Uh, it's actually pretty weak. Pirate's Captain's Note. Near the Mighty Sun's Great Stone, an arch marks withered flesh and bone. So clearly, we're near the Sunstone, but this isn't, like, the Sunstone. But we're close. I wonder if I can spot that arch from here. Because that would be lovely. That would really help me out now that I have a landmark to look for. Well, my destination was a landmark, but I had no idea what, like... How does it feel to the sunstone here? would look like it actually feels pretty all right ms berserker you no know, death is near because i know it's not mine whenever someone picks a fight with me i don't know maybe here i still think i'm overshooting this I very easily could be turning in the wrong direction. Just to check out a whole lot of nothing. You will die where you stand. No, I won't. Did that bear just T-pose at me? <gasps> what? That was frightening. My life flashed before my eyes. 
knowing an animal that powerful was going to assert that much dominance on me. Like, good lord. And there's the cave I just came out of. I'm not jumping that high anymore because I'm completely out of fatigue. What am I fighting now with? Oh, Spriggan! But why? Oh, I'm oh. fatigued. Immediately in combat again? Yeah. So I don't think there's a good way to escape from them while they're dead. Spreading damage is pretty high. Whoops. I don't know why I've been right clicking lately when I'm trying to left click. Don't know why. I guess because I'm checking the map so much. So and like my fingers just tense up or something. It's, su it's such intense combat that I don't know what to do. Location of the scrolls, or the stones, or whatever. This map is so garbage, but... It's clearly atop something and, and near here. Like, maybe I can find that curve in the water? Because that's here. That's here. It really should be, like... Up here? I'm gonna scout out the edge of the land just so I can see the shape of it on my map here. I would like to just overall see it. Wait, this. Why is it still dark? Oh, come on! I'm here! Let me see it. Thank you. How annoying. And so this is definitely that curve inland, but that curve might be larger than I realized. I'm just gonna head up here a little bit. Pay attention to what I discover on the coast. It's also possible that the instant fear planes is not too far. Okay, so the curve on the land is there. All that. I'm assuming this is accurate. Right, because I just found this. What the fuck? I am... Wait, I am... Oh, no, I didn't just find that. No, 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 no. Yeah, so I am really close. So I should go due east, right? Because I'm at the top of... I'm at the top of this, basically. No, no, no. No, I'm at the top of this. Yeah, so I go I go east, and I should find the stone. Are you the stone? No. Are you the stone? No. I am looking for the stone. This is obviously not the stone. It's very unimpressive. It's just a rock. This could be the stone, I guess, but it's not. Are you the stone? Hello? Which of you is the stone? Couldn't even be on this side of the river. Is this the stone? It's pretty large, and there's a spring in here. So, like, I don't know. So annoying. Okay, okay. Is this the stone? It is at the... No. No, it's not. Where is the arch? Ooh. Yeah, see, that... that. Oh, wait a minute. 
I was about to say, that looks like a more pronounced hill, but it doesn't really from close up. There's no stone here. Like, this totally looks like the right spot. High incline, massive fucking rock. But none of this is interactable. Like... This absolutely looks like the right spot. If only I could figure out what these lines mean. Because that would help a ton. It's going to be one of those streams, huh? went into Frostle Man. Maybe that would help. Maybe I haven't gone far enough up. I mean, I find that hard to believe, but... Yeah, because it should be roughly here. Because that's too high. That's way too high. Yeah, it's got to be along this. Hmm, maybe the order matters. I wonder if the order matters. Because the oneness is all screwed up. Or whatever. Avar did the thing. He first set out to retrieve the gift of water. So maybe I try water stone first? I mean, it can't hurt to try, right? I really think sunstone is fine to start with because it's close, but... I don't know, maybe there's some tradition. Maybe it's not, like, coming out of the ground yet or something like that. Well, it's my only lead, so let's just go and yeet myself and see what happens. Oh, shit! I just wasted a yeet self. I jumped too early. Don't really care that my rest has been interrupted. Let me jump, please. Ooh, if I land in the water, even better. That doesn't really matter. I'm gonna have a lot of things trying to kill me, I think. Oh, found a rock. And I'm allowed to sit. Wait. How lovely is this forest? We get an aerial view, too. Beautiful. <laughs> At all different times of day. So this is Raven Rock. As if this is a real place. Like, And the water stone is... Like... Oh, wait. That's kind of... One moment, I'll match it. Oh, it doesn't match the land perfectly. But that's okay. Because it's going to be like... Like here, I think. I guess the land has changed since that map was made. Or maybe... Wait, resting here is illegal, I guess. Oh, right, because of this settlement. That's really not a settlement. <gasps> I get more Yeet self-casts than I used to? <gasps> I get three of these? Okay, damn. We're gonna have to use the, uh... The Blessed Spear now. The Blessed Spear is more than enough. Hi, Miss Spriggan. I'm looking for uh, the water stone. Would you happen to know where that is? Wait, she's dead. She's technically dead. So I can... I can cheese it by resting in her death cycles. <gasps> That's incredible.
top. That's so funny. Okay, so we're in the instant tier planes again. Which must be overall like pretty large. And now I am getting close to where I need to be, but I'm not quite there yet. What is this? Gillier the Mumbling's Dwelling. Hello. I'm sorry, but I'm not in the mood for visitors right now. Just look at this mess up, dog. Do you see what that foul Draugr has gotten? He's ruined my dwelling and stolen away my only friend. Imagine an angry Nord. Now imagine a dead angry Nord with a taste for human flesh. Get the picture? My entire family was lost at sea a few months ago, and now I'm all alone. My only companion is Odford Whitelip. She talks to me. She tells me things. Tells me the future. I rescued her from Colbjorn Barrow many months ago, but she's been kidnapped by a Draugr who lives in Colbjorn. Up, dog, will you go to the Barrow and rescue Odford Whitelip? If you do, Odford will help me reveal your future. Sure, I'll rescue you. I'll rescue her. I knew you were going to help me. I'm a seer, after all. Now, Colbjorn Barrow lies to the southeast of here, near the coast. You should enter the Barrow, find Odford, and return home to me. Do be careful. The Draugrs are fast, vicious, and entirely without remorse. actual real side quest <gasps> but first I need to make sure I'm doing something with the water stone see this is a problem that I always have where it's just wait who said that what was that voice okay like don't like being stuck in a corner during my spear animation Okay, so the water stone must be near here somewhere. This is the watch we were talking about. Hello. Mm. So more. Let's see many sightseers out here. The cold and horkers drive most people away. Me, I just come here to watch the sea. I used to be a ship captain, you know, but that was before that night at sea. A few months ago, I was ferrying some settlers from Skyrim to Solstheim. I was tired, so tired. I fell asleep at the rudder. The ship drifted into a gale, and by the time I woke, it was too late. I couldn't regain control, and the ship capsized. There were only two survivors, me and an old man whose entire family was lost in the wreck. I told the man of my terrible failure, and he used his power as a seer and wizard to punish me. You see, Gilevex, I have been cursed with eternal wakefulness. As punishment for my incompetence, the seer laid a powerful curse upon me. I'm exhausted, but I can't sleep no matter what I try. Potions, magicka, nothing works. The truth is, I haven't slept in at all in six months. Jinlex, if you have to run into the seer, maybe you could convince him to lift the curse? His name is Geller the Mumbling, and he lives by himself in a dwelling here on Soul's Time. Do this for you, and I will share with you the most valuable secret I learned when I was a ship captain. Behold the sea, friend. Never will you meet a maiden so beautiful. Hmm. Okay, so there's some glowy things over here. This is just the ice. And... I can't tell what's actually glowing. Or what that noise is. Oh, I'm in the water now. Yep. Yeah. Because there's nothing explicitly glowing down there. Um... So the water stone. The water stone should be relatively close by. The locations of the stones say water stone is here. These are obvious hills. Um, like if I look at local, kind of this. I mean, it's hard to tell with the ice. So there's going to be some like jutting land right there. And I need to not be there. And that jutting land, I mean, kind of doesn't exist. But I suspect it's... Ugh, if we're not paying attention to the islands in any way. I mean, there is a massive spire over here, so I'm just going to try this. This is it for sure. This is definitely the water stone. 
Travel west to a small island off the coast and follow the swimmer to seek the water of life. West it is, a small island off the coast. I'm definitely supposed to swim, but I might yeet. What is a reclaim doing out here? So the small island is going to be like over this way. I'm sure I have to swim. But let's just go ahead and save it. I want to yeet, just tr trust my gut. And it says wilderness and I see nothing. Oh, because the small island is over this way. Do I have a potion of water walking? I used to have a ton of those. Standard water walking or... You know, anything useful like that, or... Yeah, water breathing for 15 seconds, who cares, why not? We'll just go fast. How lovely. I can't see shit. Okay, and this must be the small island off the coast. Well, it's not really much of an island, it's kinda just... more mainland but not underwater i guess that's qualifying it as an island no this is definitely not where i need to be oh wait no it is here's the swimmer who i almost killed i found the swimmer a block horker i believe i should follow it i'm just gonna auto walk this no where's my where's my power my water I just get like the water breathing spell. There we go. Argonian perks. I'm auto swimming by the way. Just where's it going? Because it's the same black horker from the legend. How lovely. I don't know where we're going. I can't even see where I am, but I'd rather watch the swimmer. The swimmer's pretty close to the surface. You just have to check underwater from time to time. Okay, yeah, we are going off the shore here. Wait, that light's actually messing with my head. It looks so weird underwater. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is where we're going for sure. There's like a cave down here. A cave that you're absolutely not supposed to find. <sighs> I've left the swimmer. Hey, I'm here. I'm in your proximity. Keep moving. Yep, keep moving. I don't know if I actually need the swimmer or not. Led me to the entrance of an underwater cave. Yep. We'll just get that in my journal. This is definitely how you swim downwards, by the way. Solomon's Gorge. It's still underwater. Oh my god. Give us a save. When does this stop being underwater? Oh my god, it doesn't. It's really thoroughly underwater. No air pockets. Nothing I can see. Just thank goodness I have the water breathing spell. Argonian perks. Would be nice to just have innate water breathing, but... There we go. Oh, we're fighting a skeleton. 
You don't look very lifey. Why are you guarding the waters of life? Skeleton Berserker. Oh, found the waters of life. <laughs> wow, really? That's literally it? <laughs> That's actually it. That's the entire quest! <laughs> One skeleton in an underwater cave. Well, I guess there's also the whole problem solving with how you're going to survive the swim, but my race choice just lets me bypass that. So, lucky me. Okay, now I just have to remember how to get back to the water stone. Because I'm going to get lost. I can guarantee it. Swim all the way up. Because it's, it's like roughly around here. Because you can see all this land I've never traversed because I just swam here. <laughs> Jump scared by a skeleton. That is very spooky. I'm sorry. I didn't expect it. I was going to a place where they had the waters of life. Why would they have a dead thing in there? Icky. Icky and gross. I can't get up. My water breathing has expired. Let me up. Let me up. Or not, I guess. Just. Oh, 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 oh! Yes, there we go, there we go. I'm up, I'm up. I'm sliding down again. It's too steep. There we go, okay. So I need to get back to roughly around there. It's actually very pretty, though. Like, Look at the sky here. It's no Shivering Isles, mind you, but... The skyboxes in this game have really aged very well. Eat. You are an easy opponent. Where are you? We have to fight now. Okay, that's actually a fry tag. That might matter a little bit. Although fry tags are very squishy. Uh, and the Reekling Raider next. Okay, good. We'll just uh, chill here a bit. Continue going. Oh wait, do I need to go south? I think I'm actually close. I don't want to overshoot it. It's near Thorm. Thormor's watch though, so I can go a little further. Oh yeah, there it is. That's it, right? I think so. Yeah, that's it. Your journal's been updated. Ooh. Uh <laughs> Okay, so that is the gift of water ritual. Five rituals left. So next. Next in the, uh, the quest here. If I can find the scroll again. What happened to Avar? Where did Avar go next? Avar went to... The Earth Stone next. And the Earth Stone is... Just down here. Perfect. Now, meanwhile, on my quests that I'm doing... Um... Colbjorn Barrow is also something I'm looking for because that's actually like for the first time a side quest I want to do So we're looking for that in the meantime Don't really want to get in a fight here, so we keep moving Wait my yeet self spell just canceled itself out. Oh, no cuz I cast bound spear duh what am, I, what am I being chased by oh, I'm not hitting well, I am being chased by something. Look at the visibility conditions. This snowstorm sucks. It's just... <laughs> I 
I wonder if, like, because it's been many, many years since I played Skyrim, but I wonder if, like, if you knew the map of Solstheim from Skyrim, if you'd be able to navigate this place pretty easily. Everyone keep an eye out for, like, Kartag Barrow. Yeah, because they probably took a lot of inspiration from this iteration of Solstheim. Okay, what is this? Is this the Barrow? Blood Skull Barrow. Oh my god. And it's locked and trapped. So here's the Earth Stone, though. We did find this. Travel northeast to the Cave of the Hidden Music and learn the Song of the Earth. I can always forget his name. It's like Avir, right? Avar. A we're, we're doing exactly what Avar did. <sighs> Meanwhile, though. Kolbjorn Barrow is near... Near the Solstheim courts, coast. It should be like... Wait, they said northeast? Northeast of his dwelling? No, southeast of his dwelling. So it should be, like, around here. Yeah. So I might actually be near. Could be over here. We found Gellier's dwelling. Yeah, before we do the Earthstone stuff, I actually want to pursue this side quest. Give in. You're dead already. Am I? Let's call Barrow. Not that one. Still haven't found it, but I feel like I'm not far. This is still southeast from, like, from up there. Although it's getting real south now. I'm confusing my destination with car tag point. Which is that, like, I don't know if it's an orc holy place or what. Kolbjorn Barrow. I do not want to aggro that Spriggan. Yeah, but I'm almost absolutely too far down now. Is Colbjorn Barrow? I don't want to mess with the snow bear right now. Okay, so wait, they said east, right? Wait, they said east, right? I went west. <gasps> Southeast of Gellir's dwelling near Solstheim's core or coast. So that would be like Oh my god, I'm an idiot. That would be near Raven Rock then. So I actually went the right way. Jump. Got stuck in a tree. Lovely. Could actually be like no they said coast they said coast ah this is it for sure no it's a different one Resting here is illegal. Fuck me. Stupid Raven Rock and not even being a settlement yet. Like. 
being an absolutely fake settlement. Oh, I don't want to aggro a second one. We're going to find this place, though. Can't be far from here. Bop. 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 Surely resting here isn't illegal. Good. Okay, so I've discovered... Nothing, apparently. None of this appeared on my map, on the local map. Why not? There we go. <laughs> the Spriggans look weird in this game. That's for sure. It could still be all like on the other side of this. Like it could easily be over here. Because this is the coast. Stupid goddamn tree. Don't see any evidence of a cave here. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this arch. Was this is this arch significant? Cuz I remember I've read about an arch. Oh. Time to fight, I guess. Snow bears are a huge problem if they hit me. They have casts. They have magic with no cast animation. Got to love it. I don't want to be interrupted. How dare you slightly interrupt me? Um, no barrow, no anything here. Another spriggan. Oh, another another spriggan. So you're on one life left. You're on two. Gotta go acro lizard again. That's the play. So I'm sure I've gone way, way, way too far at this point. I am on the coast. I actually can still continue being on the coast looking for a cave for like a little bit longer. In fact, I might find a standing stone, which would be kind of cool. It's also nice just to know what they look like, too. Die, Fetcher. Wait, what? What? Wait, what did I just run into? I can't move! I can't fucking- Oh, they do no damage. What the fuck are they doing to me? I'm not trying to cast! What the fuck are they doing to me? I'm jumping in the wrong direction. What the fuck is happening here? Hello? Stop whatever it is you're doing. Like, I'm trying to jump around, and, like, them hitting me is sending me, like, backwards. It's really disorienting. What the fuck is this? Okay, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. armor is super annoying. Staggered, I guess. Okay, one of them's dead. One of them's staggered. I need to restore fatigue, too. Oh, 
All right, we're back on the blessed sphere, so at least I'm gonna take less damage, but I'm also going to do less damage. This is my defensive option. But it should be easier to 1v1 this guy. Nice. Oh, they're smugglers. That's why they don't want him to kill me. Okay, that makes sense then. Wow, that was actually scary. I really thought I was going to lose that fight. I was looking for a cave, and then all of a sudden... Oh, smugglers. Which, you know, are things you are likely to find in a cave, but... <laughs> Not what I was looking for. Because they, they landed here, right? Or somewhere around here? Yeah, they were here. That's annoying. Okay, so, like, the cave is... Probably, like, at the very furthest around here. And I'm pretty convinced I'm just not in the right spot anymore. Unless there's a random-ass cave, like... Oh, come on. Okay. Why did I get fire particles on my spear conjuration? Oh. Another fry tag. You like conjure barbarians or something? Do you have a summon barbarian spell? Yeah, the grizzlies are not friendly. I've definitely gone too far. Damn it. Nothing stopping me from yeeting myself, though. Southeast along the coast implies Raven Rock adjacent. So let's keep our eyes out for just something here. I don't really care that my rest has been interrupted. I'm just gonna keep moving. Ah, this must be it. Colbjorn Barrow, we found it. So we might have to find a, like, fight a Draugr in here. It's a bit intimidating for sure. Oh. Why is... It's trying to kick me. That's what Draugrs look like, and also, their names are not capitalized. They look so silly. No. I found Audred Whitelift, but Gellier failed to mention that she was just a skull. No matter if I return the skull to Gellier, he should grant me my reward. He's a kickboxer in play. That's gonna bother me forever now, the Draugr capitalization. Here I go. Alright, time to fight a bunch of things now. Wait, it wore off as soon as I tried to cast it, and it's like, can't cast it, still in effect. Resting here is illegal. What do you. Fucking Raven Rock. Like, Raven Rock is lovely in Skyrim, but it's actually goddamn useless in this game. Unless I can find something that I've missed. by Madam Hag. Alright, I guess we run down this hag too. Come on, fight. Just had to make sure she actually was a hag before I decided to. Actually, the grizzlies do not seem to be enemies until you bother them. Which is really good to know. 
that the earth stone again? Yeah, we just randomly just rediscovered the earth stone. It's right next to Blood Skull Barrow. That's actually an excellent landmark. Okay, we're gonna quick save in case something weird happens here. Up dog, you've returned, and you found Oddford. Yes, I know, Oddford is a skull. She was a skull when I first found her, but she does talk to me. I hear her voice inside my head. I would have told you the truth, but I didn't want you to think I was crazy. So, tell me, Gilamax, do you want me to tell your future, or perhaps I should first remove Thormor's curse of eternal wakefulness? I didn't think I would ever feel the need to relieve Thormor Grey Wave's misery, but you did me a great service by returning Oddford Whitelip. As a show of thanks, I will now remove the curse. There, Thormor's curse has been lifted. He will now find the sleep I have denied him for so many months. I, I hope he finds peace. He'll sleep, but even I can't stop a guilty man's nightmares. Okay, so... I'm probably gonna go visit Thormor's watch again. Just for a moment, at least. I love how an entire week can pass so easily just because I'm trying to get Magicka. Hey, buddy. She's in Vex. You did it. You spoke with Gellir. God didn't remove this curse. I know this because I can barely stay on my feet. I'm ready to fall asleep, my friend. Do you hear me? Fall asleep. <laughs> I need to lie down. You've done me an incredible service, and I would like to return the favor, but not just yet. First, I must sleep. Meet me in my room at Thirsk Mead Hall, and then I will give you your due after I've had a chance to get some rest. Beautiful. And then the actual thing that I want as well is... Travel, okay, not that one. Travel northeast to the cave of the hidden music. Well, I've already done the north part, so let's just try the east part. See if I can find anything. Again, we're just looking for caves. It could be anywhere. They just said northeast. This could be it, actually. That'd be funny if it was. That sounded like a Tom and Jerry scream. I was about to say, I'm being attacked by a wolf pack. There's a chance that I struck first. It's very possible. Cave of hidden music. We just, we found it already. These caves are all identical and are tiny. Okay, maybe they're not 100% identical. They're just really close. Okay, this one's different. I take it back. Oh look, Draugr's capitalized this time. <gasps> In Skyrim, they're all identical and massive. Yeah, Skyrim had some interesting dungeon design sometimes. If they put intentionally weaker Draugr in there. This this place has actually got branching paths though. This is a different cave. The cave of hidden music. Nope, would rather have my damage spear out. I'm not that concerned about taking damage myself. Bop, 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 bop. There we go. Oh my god, they're fucking fast, I just realized. That is terrifying. Seems to go somewhere though. Chamber of Song. In Legend 8, it is Abel, right? Avar. That's the fucking song. That is the Earth's song. The Earth has flatulence. There's a motorcycle. <laughs> hmm. So, Evil in Myth struck the ground to amplify the song. 
that this is just the beginning of the song. Maybe I haven't found precisely where I need to be. I'm gonna try this way. Could be up here. A lot of locked chests, actually. But I'm sure I'll find something that really stands out as the place to be. Yep. <gasps> Wait, it's like a puzzle. Look. Really, really easy one, though. Oh my god, they're tuned differently. Oh, wait, it actually is a puzzle. Oh, whoops. Okay, wait, wait. I played the song. I was able to recreate when I did the pattern changed. Oh my god. Oh my god. After repeating the new pattern, the sound swelled and then grew silent. I should return to the Earth Stone. Wait, but that, I guess that is the shortest one. It just didn't look that way. I'm a musician. Music. <laughs> that one was cool. I like that one. I wish the stones had been like distinctly different sizes, but that was a cool one. Pretty fun. Genius music. No, me that's music with a K right there. My spear needs repair. Oh, this goes nowhere. <laughs> Should probably look where I'm going. Okay. Yeet self. All the way back to the earth stone. If I can find it again. Oh, what is this? Oh, they don't like me. My weapons are better in the water, though. Are you aware of that? Okay, I've actually got to heal myself up a bit. I'm like fish in a barrel. I'm actually quick saving here because I'm a maniac. Oh my god, I'm so slow. I'm so slow. I'm so slow. Maniac is right. That was ice arrows. Suck. Keep jumping, keep jumping, keep jumping. Kill that one. Okay. Come on, come on. Restore health. Perfect. He's right behind me. The entire game seems like a long Monty Python skit. Oh, Reavers. Oh. Yeah, they were a problem. Oh, fuck. I have to find the Earth Stone again in this. Uh, oh, Blood Skull Barrow. I'm right there. It's really nearby. There it is. I kind of overshot it a little bit, but we'll go right back. Hello. 
has completed the Gift of Earth ritual. So the next one that uh, Avar did is... After that, it was the Beast Stone. So we need to go to the Beast Stone. And the Beast Stone is over there. I thought this path was pretty dumb, but I will do that in just a moment, guys. I need to use the washroom. Alright, so the beast stone is going to be the last one I'm doing tonight, guys. It is, like, or maybe I'll find the tree stone first. I'm kind of following the path right now because it's easy to remember and also because I couldn't find the sunstone, so I'm like, ah, I may as well go chronologically, but... Maybe I don't have to do that. What kind of enemies... I'm being pursued by that bear over an extremely long distance. Alright, fine. Come here. Come here. Look how low my damage is getting, though. I actually need to get back to the fort. Let's go to Fort Frostmoth. I can go anywhere on the island I need to be very quickly, thanks to Yeet Self. So this should not be too much of an issue. That's a nice open field. Wait, is this the tree stone? Oh, it's not. Oh, price hags. There we go. Just avoid them. Walk around. Okay, I hate that I can land on trees, <laughs> but it is kind of funny. And here we go. Just a few casts of Yeet Self, and I'm at the fort again. I've gotten all turned around and confused because it's destroyed now, and I don't remember how to navigate, but... Hey, you. What would we do without the captain here? This is terrible. Yeah, repair my ship, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Curtain wall. I guess I'll just go over here and get out. I'll... Okay, never mind. Same way out. Resting here is illegal. That's fine. Okay, and so I'm going to... Maybe, maybe while I'm here, I look a little longer for the sunstone. Now that I actually know what I'm looking for, you know? So I'm looking beyond this point. Sake. All right, I don't care. So now that I know what I'm looking for, yeah, obviously none of these are the sunstone. But if I jump and just go further, fucking okay. Yeah, all right, lovely. There it is. I literally just didn't move far enough. That's all it was. 
Go to the west and free the warm sun from the halls of Penumbra. Absolutely. Where are the halls of Penumbra? Oh, they must be this way. There's a literal path here. <laughs> there is a literal path directly towards it. Alright, we're freeing the sun. It's full of Draugr, as expected. See, it really, really helps once you know exactly what you're looking for, like what the shape is. Makes things a bit more obvious so you're not just second guessing and over relying on the map. Yeah, the Draugr are frighteningly fast. I dislike that. Oh, they're vulnerable to magic, by the way. Don't think. Yeah, they are, but it just does zero damage. I'm better off using the spear. Every time I try to be a mage, I'm disappointed. It's a very, very straight passageway so far. They weren't kidding when they said halls. My journal's been updated again. I did. I found a bright glowing object behind a sheet of ice. Did I? No, I didn't. They fucked up their trigger. <laughs> it's not here. It's probably directly underneath where I need to be, but... Or I was directly above where I need to be, rather. There's a lot of locked chests. Hey, what's up, bud? Oh, wait a minute. Is that just is that just a shadow? Yeah, it's just a shadow because the shadows are weird in this game. Ah, now this is the right spot for sure. Because this thing is gross and tricky. And it just immediately knocked me down and it's one-shotting me. Can I jump, please? Jesus, fuck. This thing might be scary. I wish I had saved. We just have to try to kill him now. Lightkeeper Grawl. Why is he attacking me? Got him stuck for a moment. Jump, jump, jump. Jump past. Stuck on the edge. I've got him if I exploit my range. He gets stunned like on every hit. <gasps> what?! That's fine, I did rest in here after all, so. Don't have a lot further to go, but. Come on! Okay, creatures. This is actually something I have now, like. I thought it was just like a problem I was having with Amalexia, and now I'm starting to realize more and more. I don't, I don't, I think it's like a persistent problem where enemies do damage before their attack animation. Oh, he's knocked down, he's knocked down. Exploit this. Now that I came prepared with the right spear, it's so much easier. Poor Lightkeeper. Flaming Eye of the Lightkeeper. That's a unique item. So then just dink it a little bit. Throw the Flaming Eye of the Ice Wall? Absolutely. Dink. Yeah, that was pretty bright. 
Back to the sunstone. Ah, uh, yeah, I go up. Got lost for a second. We freed the sun! Wow. This isn't the right one. Mmm, they're fast. I had to fight them now. Back to no corner, shit. Uh, I played that really badly. Holy crap. That was scary. <laughs> okay, so then we leave here. I'm gonna go ahead and yeet myself over the spriggan so I don't have to fight it. I'm gonna have to fight it. Unless... This is rude. You should be ashamed of yourself. Freaking bristleback. Okay, that's three of the stones then. The sunstone was here the whole time. Wow. Uh, I've completed the gift of the sun ritual that is an excellent spot to leave it off guys it is midnight i'm going to be ending this stream i think we're getting very close to the end of the morrowind playthrough because again blood moon is the last thing we're going to be doing so the closer we get to the end of blood moon the closer we get to the end of the entire game <laughs> So I will try to be back on Wednesday, hopefully for a longer stream than this one. This was very short compared to the rest of the Morrowind streams, but I just was not able to get on earlier than now. Um, if something changes Wednesday, you'll hear from me. I do have a lot of work to do, uh, but that is all. So guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to love yourselves, respect each other. Have a great day tomorrow as well, and I will see you hopefully on Wednesday. Bye, everyone.